Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Thank you for choosing to spend some time with me. Now, this is an interesting project I'm sharing with you because there was trials and tribulations. The end result I absolutely love, but I've left all the warts in there so you can understand it's not always smooth sailing. And before I get into the project, I just want to apologise that I am not wearing gloves in here. Now, when I was mixing up the resin, mixing up the pigments, I had my gloves on. And I must have taken them off as I got ready to film and forgot to put it back on my hand. So I do apologise. I do endorse safe resin artwork by using all the correct PPE. Uh, no fingers were harmed in the making of this particular video. So what was the challenge for me? Well, I know I wanted to work with a jade colour or a deep emerald green because of the substrate I was using this beautiful window film and I wanted the pattern to come off onto it and it to be transparent but for the pattern to add value so it looked like it was almost etched glass and when I put the colors down um there were a lot there were a lot one one was a lot put my teeth in one was a lot lighter than I wanted and I really enjoyed the darker color but um as they blended together, they ended up becoming lighter. Now, I did my swirls. I did everything that I would normally do. There's a little bit of glitter within the uh, <clears throat> the resin. And so you do get a nice sparkle. And the pattern does come through beautifully. But I think I would have preferred a darker, transparent green. And all the colours blended together. So it became one green. And I usually like to add colour within mine just to help with that, I don't know, the oomph of it. And so I think that's what I would do differently. And the resin I was using wasn't a resin I would normally use. So it took a lot longer to dry and it dried quite thinly. And so I was a little bit worried because it said it can start to cure within 15 minutes. But then as I put it down, it, I read the instructions further and it wasn't within 15 minutes. It starts to cure from 15 minutes, but it can take up to an hour. So I rushed putting it down uh, because I was a little bit panicked by the time frame. And this was the stone coat countertop one. Um, at the end, you'll see the disadvantage of putting it down too early is it spreads and it goes quite thin but also this particular resin didn't cure hard uh, for about three days uh, whether it was temperature whether it was a mixture of everything you'll see I'll come in and add some tape even after I've sculpted it just to make sure over time over the three days it didn't bend out a shape but it all cured beautifully in the end the other thing was it was a little bit challenging when I was pulling this substrate or the window film away only because the resin adhered really beautifully to the pattern. So although it all came off in one go, there wasn't any rips in my resin. You'll see that I struggle a little bit more with that than other substrates. Uh, that's because they're normally smooth. So it goes as it should be. I was originally going to come in with some green gems on this, but because it was such a solid green, I ended up going for the normal crystals to try and brighten it up. And you also see after I do my swirls here, I come in and I add some resin dye green. Um, but because it was almost curing or um, it had got quite a bit of pigment in there, it didn't bleed out as much. You'll see it turns to be just dots, basically. And I try to work my magic and swirl it around and hope that it's going to spread. But they, they don't. They just end up like dots. <laughs> so didn't go to plan that way. And then the final thing is when I start sculpting it, um, I decide to try putting the resin on top of the resin, not separate pieces like I would do normally. Because I wanted to get some of that beautiful pattern on both the inside and outside. Now, part of it did work, but part of it just gave me absolute headache because the resin was quite tacky. So the minute it stuck to anything, you'll see it's like a uh, treacle and I have to come in with my heat gun to try and get my resin to flatten out again. You'll see along the way I get my hands stuck, I get the lollipop stick stuck, I get the paper stuck. And at one stage, this all nearly went in the bin. But I think, you know what, slapping it on, that second piece, did deliver some amazing results. But there's lots of learns along the way. And I would definitely not do it the way I did it. Um, I've got other ideas in my mind that I'll show you in future videos. But 
I walked away, I came back and weeks later, I actually, you know what? It's actually quite a pretty uh, sculpture. Adding those fairy lights to it and using it as a candle. And the hashtag disclaimer, if you're going to use it as a candle holder, never leave a flame candle alone with it as you walk away because uh, you don't want it to, one, set on fire, uh, and two, it can actually cause, if the, if the, the resin gets too hot, it could cause it to droop a little bit and you want to make sure that it's being protected. So always be near it when it's uh, a lit candle. Anyway, I am going to, look, oh, these are the dots, the dots that just wouldn't go. <laughs> I've talked through everything. It's a fairly quick video, but I just wanted to give you a little insight. I will be back in the new year and I'll try more of this green, which I absolutely love, but I want to find a deeper green because I just want to see this really nice, thick looking glass like effect. I know it's in my head. I've just got to work to get it out on paper. But again, thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. I hope you enjoy seeing this process and let me know what you think to the end result. Uh, what do you think to it as a candle holder or with the fairy lights? Let me know. Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Make sure you come back and see more creations and you will see more of my art in the new year. I'm taking a little bit of time out because I am married now and spending time with my husband. Christmas is coming and we're getting ready for a holiday in the new year. So it's a very busy world my way, but I'm sure yours is. So keep safe, keep well, and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful 2022.